the Game of Thrones season eight, episode six, the Iron Throne. Um, pff, man, dude, I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna say all the good things and and then the bad things and then I'm gonna yeah. So basically, it starts off with uh, like okay, so here's the good things. Cinematography was awesome. Like cinematography, like top notch cinematography. You could literally stop any point in that episode and it just looks like a freaking photograph. Two, the musical score was amazing. Like, I want to say it, like, carried that episode hard because, like, every scene had, like, good musical scores. Um, I guess there were some funny scenes. Like, oh, uh, Danny did this, like, really great speech, which I was kind of, like, a little weirded out that I felt inspired by it. I mean, like, skewed political, like, ideology because she wants to, like, conquer the world pretty much. But, I mean, it was pretty inspiring, I guess. Um, then there was, like, these two funny scenes. One with Arya, like, right afterwards. She sneaks up in John because they need to show off that she's, like, an assassin and she's super cool. Um, she says, I don't know what happens, but John says something about, like, she's our queen. She's our queen. And Arya's like, well, Sansa is never going to bend the knee to her. And I don't know what he says. And she's like, she's a killer, John. I know when I see one. And I'm like, bro, literally we all saw the episode before this. Like, everyone knows she's a killer. Like, she's a hardcore murderer. Kills babies and stuff. Um, and the next the next funny scene was, like, later in the episode, almost at the end, when uh, Tyrion, he does this thing. I guess it was, like, a callback to his father. His father would fix the chairs. And his... So, basically, the people come in. He fixes the chairs like really awesome and then they come in and they just mess it up. They don't care. And that's what his father would do and then like his sister and him would never do like they would never care about the placement of the chairs and it really pissed off Tywin all the time. So it's funny that they did a callback I guess to it. Um, bad things about it. I, oh my god. I don't even know man. There was so much. I mean like I'm already at the point where like the previous episodes were so bad. That it wasn't, like, these things weren't even that bad. It was, like, so, for instance, Danny, like, she went from this huge craziness, like, literally murdering babies and stuff, to now she's, like, feeling, like, oh, you know what, I want to do this for, like, the good of the people, and I don't know what, but she just has a screwed ideology. For, she finally gets to touch Ryan Throne, which she's so happy about. Um, John kills her. Like, out of nowhere, he just stabs her. Like, she's making out with him, and she st he stabs her. She dies really quickly. Bleeds from the nose, too, which I thought was kind of random. I was like, well, I understood the mouth, but then she bleeds from the nose, too. Drogon comes out of nowhere. Um, is super pissed because he's, like, realizing his mother's dead. And he gets all mad, and he's, like, gonna burn John. And But he didn't realize... That John has the most strongest plot armor out of everyone in Game of Thrones. So it was stupid to think you could burn him. So he literally tries burning him and then like was like, man, he burns Iron Throne. Which I thought, I guess, okay, that's like a interesting metaphor, I guess, from the writers. I don't know. Like, whatever. Um, but the craziest thing was, John only killed Danny. After being having to be convinced by Arya and then freaking what's his name T Tyrion, like it was like he's the murderer and like John's like no she's not and like I have to support her and stuff until finally convinces him then that's why he kills her. We move on into the episode which is like honestly really forgettable. Most of the scenes are just really dragged on. Um, we finally get to the point where they. Tyrion's like prisoner, John's prisoner. They had this little council that they made from like everybody in Westeros. Um, they're trying to debate who should be king, who should be queen, or I don't know what the hell. The Tyrion has this little moment of like he's a prisoner, but they're letting him talk, which is stupid because <laughs> he's a prisoner. So why does he, why is he even talking? But he talks. He gives his little like whatever. Um, what is it? Well, I, what I didn't understand is like, okay, so when Danny was like, you know, doing her awesome speech, whatever, Tyrion decides like, you know what, I'm going to like show you. 
takes off his little hand badge, throws it on the floor, like, in front of everybody, showing, like, super disrespect. I'm like, really? You decide right now to do that? Like, right now, you're going to do that right now? Like, after everybody's been murdered? <laughs> um, I mean, Varus, like, you could just tell, like, like, dude, like, he knew it, man, from the get-go. Should have just murdered her somehow. Um, anyways... Uh, so like I said, he does this little speech almost at the coming to the end of the episode. He does this little speech. The council decides like, oh yeah, we're gonna vote for who's gonna be king. And then he says Bran should be the king, even though Bran didn't do shit. Literally, Bran didn't do shit. Bran didn't do nothing. <laughs> Turned into some crows. Didn't do shit about against the Night King. Oh my god, it was so dumb. Like, be something about he didn't want it, so that's why he would be the best king. I don't know, I guess. Um, then he becomes king. He basically pardons Tyrion. Tyrion becomes the hand, which is stupid since he's been like failing Danny hardcore, and I don't know, whatever, man. I don't know. Um, I guess there's like. John ends up going back to the black. He ends up going back or north of the wall or something. I don't know what the hell happens there. Um, he gets to... I, I, okay, I did like that they gave him like a goodbye with, between Arya, Sansa. They have like... The, and, and Bran, they have like this little moment. So that was kind of nice. And like Arya was like really good with that. She like cried. It was kind of emotional. And then... What happens? Oh... And then Arya's gonna be like Christopher Columbus now, cause like now she wants to like sail the seas and become a pirate or something. She wants to like discover the world, which I guess that'll be kind of cool. Like Batman, pretty much just like going, like becoming Christopher Columbus, finding out new worlds and there's new territories. That'd be kind of cool, I guess. If they do like a spinoff or that or something. Drogon, he takes Danny. I don't know where the hell he took her. She's gone. Maybe. I mean, just bury her or something, but nothing. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> it just, it ends. It just ends, dude. Like, it literally just ends. Like, I don't know what to say. I'm, like, I'm not even mad. I'm not even, like, upset. I'm just, like, whatever, dude. It was, like, okay ending, I guess. Like, it was, it was whatever. Like, if, like, if I could say mech, like, when you type M-E-H, mech. Like, when you know you're like, nah, whatever, dude, nah. That's, that's what I felt this episode was. It was like, like, I'm not even mad. I'm just like, like, nah, like, whatever, dude. Like, it's over. Like, it's over. It's literally over. Like, it doesn't matter about no petition. HBO isn't going to do nothing. Like, a new, like, freaking uh, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Like, Game of Thrones Brotherhood. They ain't going to do it. Like, it just, whatever, dude. Like. We got a we got a good. Uh, okay, it ended for me. Literally, it ended for me. Season eight, episode three, when the Night King died, like just ended. Boom. That would have been. That's like the end for me. Like that's what I consider the end. I can watch up to there, and I'll be like, okay, fine, whatever. It's a good show overall. All this together, season eight at the end. I mean, whatever, dude. Like, it's just one of those shows. Now it's just one of those shows you just can't recommend to people. You just be like, dude, it was. It's good. It's like the How I Met Your Mother ending. It's like, it's good, and then it's just not. Like, it's just like, whatever, dude. Like, I don't... Oh, my God. I like, I don't know, man. It's like, I'm not even mad. I'm just, I'm just disappointed. Like, there was a bunch of stupid shit in this episode. Decent things in it, too, but I'm like, whatever, man. I don't even care, man. <laughs> I don't even care anymore, dude. I don't even care. I'm so, what do you guys think? I don't know. I'm going to have a debate with my friends after, like, in a couple days, so we'll see what they bring up. See you guys.